accusations that former President Trump's Justice Department secretly subpoenaed records of members of Congress, including their Apple data. It is the basis for a new internal investigation, one Democrats call an egregious assault on democracy. News Nation correspondent Joe Khalil is live in Washington, D.C. tonight with those details. Joe. Yeah, Marty, the biggest new thing at this point uh, is that there is going to be an investigation from this Justice Department under President Biden into what happened in that case under the Trump Justice Department. It does put the Attorney General Merrick Garland in a bit of an awkward uh, situation here, but Democrats are saying it has to be done because, uh, quite frankly, so far as we know, we haven't seen any Justice Department being sort of weaponized in this way, uh, looking at data, collecting data privately of the president's perceived uh, political opponents. A new investigation tonight after news broke the Trump Justice Department secretly collected phone records and data of two sitting members of Congress, the former president's perceived political rivals, Democrats Adam Schiff and Eric Swalwell. It's a move that's never been done before. This is about everyday Americans, you know, who don't want to see their government uh, weaponize law enforcement against them because of their political beliefs. And I hope Trump supporters who fear Big Brother see that Donald Trump was the biggest brother we've ever seen. Today, the DOJ's inspector general said his office will review the DOJ's use of subpoenas and other legal authorities to obtain communication records of members of Congress and whether such uses or the investigations were based on improper considerations. The Trump Justice Department reportedly collected records of the congressman's associates, even some family members, along with media outlets, all to find the source of leaks. In 2017 and 2018, Trump DOJ officials issued a subpoena to Apple, compelling the tech giant to give up the data for 12 people in total. Legal experts we spoke with say it's troubling that two attorneys general, Bill Barr and Jeff Sessions, both okayed this type of probe. As deep a politicization of the Department of Justice as we've seen, I think, uh, you know, Attorney General Garland has an unenviable job of trying to depoliticize, reprofessionalize what is undoubtedly a, a quite demoralized department. Democratic Senate leaders Chuck Schumer and Dick Durbin say the Senate will also carry out an investigation, calling the whole episode a gross abuse of power and an assault on the separation of powers. Now, we haven't heard anything yet from uh, Senate Republicans specifically who reached out to Senator Mitch McConnell's office to see if there was any kind of response to Democrats in the Senate calling for further investigation. Didn't get anything there. There is reporting today that former Attorney General Jeff Sessions has said privately to some people that he had no knowledge of uh, an investigation like this. So those are some questions that are going to need to be answered. And of course, we're also waiting to hear from former President Trump who is usually not shy about weighing in on uh, political situations. So far, we have not heard anything yet from the former president.